Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the AGS 37 Vigan and we're looking at naval operations. That means landing on aircraft carriers and operating, taking off from aircraft carriers. No, these are not carrier aircraft and yes, this is unrealistic, but one thing I've learned in life is don't let anyone ever tell you what you can or can't do. And that's exactly what we're doing today. So we're going to show you, you can operate perfectly fine with a Vigan for naval operations. So we've got the Stennis CV here. And we've got the Kuznetsov Russian carrier here. Now, despite popular belief, they are basically the same size. The Stennis is like a few feet longer, but basically the same thing. And the ramp really favours the Vigan. The Vigan needs angle of attack when taking off. And this one here, although you can do it, is just much more difficult. Obviously, you can't hook up to a steam catapult. So I suggest the Kuznetsov if you have that choice. In terms of landing, it's also easier as well because the ramp just helps you from rolling off the end. The landing is not going to be too dissimilar from a runway landing. It's just more extreme. So you've got to come down slower. You've got to get the nose wall down and the nose wall switch trigger quicker. And you've got to go on full power for the reverse thruster. Are you ready, Mr. Onslaught? Ready. Okay, I'll go for the Kuznetsov. You go for the Stennis or uh, go round and come for the Kuznetsov. Uh, do it low fuel. I haven't tried on high fuel, but 20 to 30% is just what works best. It's the same with most planes, to be honest, but the Vigan especially, because it cannot handle low speed and high angle of attack. Three, two, one, go. Right, just going to get myself configured. So, air brake out. Anything that's going to help us slow down is going to be required. Okay, so we want to get our head right up here above the nose. I'm going to come down from quite a steep angle, way above three degrees, because the harder I hit that deck, the quicker I can get the nose wall down and um, the quicker I can get the reverse thruster on. I want to aim for about 250 clicks per hour. I don't really want to go below because it's going to get really unstable at that point. Don't forget gear out. We're not going to go in on the runway radial. Instead, we're going to go in on the longitudinal axis of the aircraft carrier because we've got obviously more deck to play with at that point. Okay, we're on speed. Just got to uh, control our descent now. As soon as we're on, obviously hit the uh, aircraft carrier right at the, uh, at the back and what's going to be wheel brake to get that nose wheel down slam into full power or reverse thrust and just try and stop it from wiggling left and right in terms of distance we should be fine on either carrier that's much better um on so i'm right behind you in your same flight path glide slope all right yep wind appears to be taking us right a bit so we just i'm personally correcting left a bit my standard seems to be turning <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's the win. Okay, it's starting to go too slow and low now, so I need to get power on. What I don't want to do is come in, so I can't even see above the front of my aircraft. So a bit more speed would be good now. And I really want to bang it down right on those wires, right just before those wires. There we go. Don't really want to despool the engine. I want to keep the revs up really, but. Yeah. Brake on, full power. Just got to stop it going off, and we are down. That's the safety. Let's follow on slot. Power on, power on. Oh, so unlucky! Round you go again. You were just slightly, like a couple of feet back. Uh, it's a couple of feet too, um, too shy. Right, um, okay, we're here now. Now, we do not have the turning circle to operate on a carrier. What we do have is even better, it's a reverse thruster. So, back we go. Okay, we're going to arm up now. Needless to say, the heavier we're armed up, the further the back we're going to need to go. The ramp really will help. Oh, on sorts coming back in. Perfect. Bang those brakes on, bang that reverser on. Full power! I uh, no. Oh, you needed that <laughs> ramp. Really needed that ramp. Yeah. Come on, try again. So let's get armed up. Um, so I'm going to make an incursion on. I'm going to make an RB15 launch on some, you know, uh, uh, ships 100 miles away. Let's say. Go 50% gas. I'm going to go missiles. RB-15s are really heavy missiles. The heavier we are, obviously, the harder this is going to be, but a couple of sidewinders. I wouldn't suggest loading, like, full fuel, fuel bags, everything. Um, I'd suggest keeping it a reasonable weight. 32,000 pounds. We have done it uh, heavier. Interesting approach on score. Yep. 
Nice. Ooh, 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 cocked you sideways, it cocked you sideways. No, poor old onslaught. Oh, he's not having a good day. He'll get it down, don't you worry. Right, take off, 32,000 uh, pounds, two RB15s, sidewinders, 50% gas. Do not forget to take your reverser off. And we don't have a special afterburner mode. We do have stage 3 really burn, so what we're gonna do is feed on the power with the brake on. Wait until she starts to squiggle and wait until she's on stage 3 burn before we release. And go. Don't pull up too much because we'll stall her. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's do this shit. With ease. With ease. Didn't even drop down there. So you can see that was with 32,000 pounds. Oh, I damaged the landing gear. I didn't realize I damaged the landing gear on the landing. That was my fault. Uh, but you can land with, you can take off with a lot more. In fact, why don't we go and see how much we can take off with? <laughs> oh, poor old onslaught. <laughs> yeah, great go around. That was, that was really, I'll give you that one. That was cool. Oh shit, I've gone past the carriers. I'm going to try a case one. Wouldn't it be funny if a case one would work? Oh, <laughs> you're hanging on the end. <laughs> I gotta come and I'll stay there, stay there. I want to come and see, but I'm, I'm on my final. That's oh, really funny. That's really good. It's a very good stunt. What I'm literally gonna do is I'm literally dropping on the deck at the last second. Dropping out of the sky, stalling on the back. Oh, best one yet. Very good. Let me come and see you. That is... That's one way of landing on store. A day to take off. Does your engine still work? I love it. Oh, very good, very good. Right, I'm going to go and arm up with... See how heavy we can take off. <laughs> wow! Did you even use the thrust reverser? <laughs> well, done. well, that's uh, Onslaught's way of doing it. I'll be honest, I don't really approve of it. I think it's a bit suicidal, but it works. Just about. <laughs> right, get ready to take off. You'll have to have a light load um, because obviously you haven't got a ramp. Okay, viewers, I'm loaded up. I've got four times, I'm going for a long range 300 bar. Inland strike. I've got four times RB 75s for armor. I've got two times uh, AIM 9 equivalents. I've got a full fuel tank. I've got full internal fuel. I'm way overloaded for naval operations at 38 and a half thousand pounds, and I'm not going to survive this, but it is an interesting test nonetheless with the ramp. So stand by for suicidal action. Already we have serious problems with speed. Serious problems with speed. But what could be what could go wrong? Ooh! Ooh! How about that? Thirty yeah, nearly thirty-nine thousand pounds. Damage my gear again. Thirty-nine thousand pounds. You know what? You can you can basically load with anything then. That means we could probably do it with bombs. So there's just so much thrust in this thing. Right. Um basically you can do well. Pretty much anything by the looks of it. What a cool aeroplane.